So an n by n system of homogeneous linear equations looks like this. That is, a system of the form ax equal to the zero vector, where a is the matrix of coefficients, that is, a11, a12, down to a1n, a21, a22, down to a2n, all the way down to an1, an2, to ann. And, and the vector x contains the variables x1, x2, all the way down to xn. Now this system is always consistent. Why is that? There's always a solution to it. What is it? It's when all my x's are zeros. This is called the y. You go ahead and replace zeros for all x's. Then the system is satisfied. You get a zero equals zero everywhere. This is called the trivial solution as it is the easiest and most obvious solution that could be attained. And any other solution, if you happen to find any other x that is not zero, what do we mean by not zero? It means at least one of its elements is not zero. Then this non-zero x vector is referred to as the non-trivial solution. For example, consider the following homogeneous system where we have x1 minus x2 is zero and x1 plus x2 is also zero. Using the augmented matrix, we can form one minus one, 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 and all zeros on the right hand in the last column. Perform, perform a row operation as R2 is R2 minus R1. The first row remains intact. The second row becomes one minus one is zero, one minus minus one is two, and zero minus zero is zero. We can see from the second row that 2x2 is 0, which gives us x2 is 0, right? Also, from the first row, we have that x1 is equal to x2, which is 0, so x1 is 0. The only solution is therefore x equal to 0, 0, hence the trivial solution. So this is example 1. Let me give you another example where stuff are a bit different. Consider the following system. 3 by 3, that is homogeneous. Let's start by forming the augmented matrix as usual, which is this guy over here. Next, we try to null this guy out by replacing R2 with R2 minus 5 R1 to get, first off, the first and third rows are the same because it's only R2 that is being replaced. And we start 5 minus 5 is 0, 2 minus 5 times 2 is minus 8, and 7 minus 5 times 1 is 2, 0 minus 5 times 0 is 0. Now we try to null this guy out by replacing R3 with R3 minus 2R1. For that, the first and second rows remain the same. We start 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0, 0 minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, and 3 minus 2 times 1 is 1. 0 minus 2 times 0 remains 0. Last but not least, we null out the minus 4 by replacing R3 with R3 minus half R2, right? For that, the first and second rows remain the same. The third row becomes 0 minus half 0 is 0, minus 4 minus half minus 8 is also 0, 1 minus half times 2 is 0, and 0 minus half 0 is 0. We got a row that is all zeros. Well, what does that mean in terms of homogeneous systems? Since it's all zeros, then with the B, of course, actually the, the last column will always be 0, regardless what you do. Any row operation you do, whether you exchange rows, scale a row, or add up two rows, this column remains zero. Actually, look at all the steps. All the steps did not amend any entry of the last column, right? So this means that if you get a row of all zeros, it could mean one thing. You have infinitely many solutions. Well, what are they? The last row is not useful. Let's look at the row just before it. It gives us that minus eight x2 plus two x3 is zero writing one in terms of the other, so x3 is 4x2. This is one condition, and the last condition is obtained by the first row that tells us x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 is 0, and hence x1 is minus 2x2 minus x3. Replacing this over here, we get x1 is minus 2x2 minus 
4x2, that is minus 6x2. So we get a solution that is characterized as follows. x1, x2, x3 is, well, since we parametrized x1 and x3 in terms of x2, then x2 remains as is. x1 becomes minus 6x2, and x3 becomes 4x2, right? Which is also equal to x2 times minus 6, 1, 4. So any x2 you pick, you have to pick x1 that is minus 6 times x2, and x3, that is 4 times x2, okay? Thus, infinitely many solutions. So those are the non-trivial solutions. Well, in previous lectures, we tapped upon this issue. We said that if we have a homogeneous system, then if A is invertible, then we only get a trivial solution. Well, is the inverse true? That is, if we don't have only one trivial solution. Could we say something about the inverse of A? Well, yes, and this is given by the following theorem. So if we have a homogeneous system, Ax equals zero, where x equals zero is the only solution, hence the trivial solution is the only solution, this could only mean that A is invertible, and hence the inverse of A exists. So this theorem also gives us the following. If the inverse of A does not exist, this means that Ax equals zero admits non-trivial solutions, as is the case in the above example. Since we obtain a solution that is non-trivial, that means that the initial matrix A over here is not invertible. Okay? You can go ahead and verify that. So in this lecture, we talked about homogeneous systems and how to solve them. So to solve a system of the form Ax equals zero, we could perform Gaussian elimination as we did right here. Now, in case we tap upon an all zero row, it could mean one thing. It means that we have infinitely many solutions because the last column is always zero and hence B corresponding to the all zeros row will be always zero. Hence we get infinitely many solutions. We can conclude also that the inverse of A, the coefficient matrix, does not exist because it admits non-trivial solutions. So that's about it. If you found this lecture beneficial, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll make sure I'll get to it as soon as possible.